Make sure you have a solid training program. I cannot tell you how many people I have talked to where this is the number one issue. Like they'll tell me all these problems in their business and then whenever we get down to it, I'm like, all of this starts with the fact that you don't have a training program. That's what it is. The cl if the cleaners are not good, then it just is a trickle down effect. You're gonna have crappy cleans, your clients are gonna be mad, they're going to leave your, tr and then all of a sudden it's just like this huge blow up. So this is number one, the most important thing. Make sure your cleaners are being trained properly. Do not, I repeat, do not just throw brand new people on cleans and expect them to be the same as a regular cleaner. This is a huge problem I see. I see people that will book a clean, right? And they'll say, okay, well, it's a 10 labor hour job, right? So they'll have two people there for five hours total for 10 labor hours. They'll say it's a first time deep clean, but they put a regular person on it, regular employee and a trainee, like a new brand new person that's like been there two days. That is not okay. That trainee is not an employee yet. That trainee is a trainee. They don't know what they're doing yet. They might think they know what they're doing. They might say they know what they're doing. You might think they know what they're doing, but I promise you they are not the same as a regular employee that has been through a solid training program. So another reason that you don't wanna do this is if you throw people in like that, they immediately assume that you're kind of a mess of a business owner because whenever you hire somebody, they expect to be trained. And whenever you just throw them into something and say, figure it out, and it's pretty much common sense, like I'll check behind you, they're uneasy. They're going to feel uneasy. They're gonna be like, I don't really know what I'm doing and I don't like this feeling of instability. I don't like this feeling of, am I doing it right? Am I doing it wrong? What products am I supposed to use? They wanna feel like they know what they're doing. So. I promise you putting a training program in place is going to help so, so much. No matter what training program you use, if you use speed cleaning method, that's what we use. If you use um, you know, any of the other methods, it doesn't matter what method you use. Just have it in black and white and have it like on paper, a training program. So our training program is five days. That's it, five days. And at the end of five days, they are rock stars and they're on their own on day six. That's how it works but you need to train them all the exact same way. So that way there's consistency across the board and if somebody is sick or if somebody calls out, then the other people that come in are going to be cleaning the exact same way and your clients are not gonna know any different. And then all of a sudden you're not gonna have these issues where the client calls and says, well, I just don't understand what happened. It was just horrible today and blah, 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 blah. And then you find out, well, that's because the original cleaner was doing this, this, and this, which technically they weren't supposed to be doing in the first place. They were just overachieving, which is great, however, the new cleaner coming in, they weren't trained that way. So you need to make sure everybody's trained the exact same way, there's no custom stuff. Um, you can just throw any of them in at any time and it'll be the same cleaning.